Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use reports to monitor detailed system parameters with AirVantage Management Service. In AirVantage terminology, a report is a list of Alios parameters that a user would like retrieved from their gateways. For systems with a heartbeat configured when communicating to AirVantage for the first time, the device will be associated to a default status report. It includes information such as RSSI, GPS latitude, longitude, IP address and other common information. To access additional data from your gateways, you must create a report that contains the specific parameters you want retrieved. Let's start by creating a new report. Reports are managed from the Configure screen under the Reports tab. From here, you can see all the reports available and you have the ability to modify them. To create a new report, just click on the plus icon. Because reports are bringing back specific Alios parameters, we need to first select the firmware version we want this report associated with. We'll select the Alios firmware of our GX400 gateway. Based on the firmware version selected, you are now presented with the Alios parameters available. From here, you can browse and select the parameters you wish to make part of the report. To find a parameter to be included in your report, you can either enter its name in the search field or browse through the hierarchy. For example, let's use the search field to find the serial port status parameters. I'm looking for the status of bytes sent and received. As you type, you can see the list of parameters being refined. Once you're happy, click on search or hit enter and you are presented with the matches in green. Select the parameter to include in the report. A counter at the bottom of the screen is automatically incremented. It indicates the number of parameters you've added to the report. A red X also allows you to unselect all of them. Back to the configuration route page. We can also browse through hierarchy to get to the same parameter. We can add the serial bytes sent parameter from here as well. The configuration hierarchy menu can also be a useful tool for browsing through parameters. When you are happy with your report, click on Save. Name your report. And optionally, describe it. A message block shows up indicating that the report was successfully created. You can now use your report in two ways. You can request the report as needed or you can schedule it. To manually retrieve the report from a device, we'll find our target device in the list of systems. Open the Monitor Systems list, find your system in the list and check it. Then send the Retrieve Data command from the Action menu. You can find the report just created and either ask for it at the next connection or set a specific schedule for it. A message box shows up indicating that an operation to retrieve your data has been initiated. You can track the progress of the report in the system details. Once the report has been retrieved, the data will be available on the timeline page. The timeline lists out all your system communications with AirVantage over a three-month period. To view your report, identify the most recent communication in your timeline, click on it, and the data will be presented to you. Alternatively, you can schedule reports to be retrieved repeatedly. This is available from the communication configuration. The Advanced Reports option allows you to pick the report as well as the frequency upon which you want it retrieved. Apart from the timeline, you can also use the Data History screen to analyze the report data and review it in graphical charts over different time periods. For instance, we want to review the Alios parameters, bytes sent and bytes received. Click on Add Chart to start. Select the data and the mathematical algorithm to apply on it. In this case, we want to know the mean value of these parameters. Click on Add Chart. Once you have the chart created, you can select the time period, such as hourly, daily or monthly, to get the level of details you need. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for using AirVantage.